Okay, 926. Let's see what we got here. You know, people, the planet is in peril. Something has to be done, and I'm doing it. I'm starting to move it to save the world. Well, I'm not. Uh, I'm just a messenger. And as you'll soon see, a conduit, really. You've heard of the missing link? We're calling the link. Apparently, I found him. Let me tell you about it. It was just the other night. I was lying in bed. Pretend I'm lying on my back. I'm lying on your back and it'll look like I'm lying on my... The cat Irma was lying on my chest. The cat Spot was lying on my shoulder. My beagle Bernie was lying against my side. And we'd lie like that until one of us got tired of lying like that. Boy, that's a lot of lying. I hope you won't think I'm lying when you hear what I'm about to tell you. The shepherd up from Irma and Spot, the occasional deep sigh from my sidekick Bernie. All was quiet, very relaxing. When suddenly I heard what sounded like the theme song to the Monkeys TV show. But I Hello, Michael. We're inside your head. You may think this is weird, but it's Davy and Peter and Mike, and we're dead. Hey, hey, it's the monkeys. They want to talk to you right away. They have something to ask you, some things they want you to say. Fuddle-lump. And at the fuddle-lump, I was in a jungle. There was a big clearing where a meeting was about to take place. I recognized it immediately as a Toastmasters meeting. The club name on the banner was Monkey Business. The place was packed with primates, mostly mischievous monkeys. I was welcomed by the sergeant at arms. It was McGilla Gorilla. A quick TLI training for current and future sergeants at arms. Two things I learned from McGilla. Always tip your hat to a lady and always wear pants to a meeting. Since we were the only ones wearing pants that night, he told me, ooh, ooh which means, watch where you step. I signed the guest book using my nom de plume. That's French, <laughs> Canadian. Michael GK, MBA. I'm a monkey business administrator. The Toastmaster for the evening was Tarzan's pal Cheetah. He came swinging in and started the meeting right on time. After the preliminaries, there were four speeches with good messages. Hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil, post no evil. The table topics master was the sock monkey. It can't talk, it's a sock. But if it could, it would say that the monkeys are fed up with what humans are doing to the planet. They're taking matters into their own paws. They're the ones starting the movement to save the world. The link is the key to its success. The problem is, he's missing. The thing that the monkeys had to ask me was, can I identify the link? There were three pictures. One was the last known picture of the link before he went missing. Two were fake news. Picture number one. Alfredicus E. Newman Erectus. No, this guy's a virus. He was released when somebody clicked on a fake link in their email. Fortunately, I'm vaccinated. He's the reason why when asked about climate change, people say, what, me worry? Picture number two. Australopithecus sediba. Give me a break. This guy's a fake. He doesn't have any eyes. The guy I saw was wearing sunglasses, so he's got eyes. Picture number three. Magic monkey. Bingo. That's him. I'd recognize those cheap sunglasses anywhere. But if that's the last picture of him before he went missing, 
he must have went missing a long time ago he's not that cute anymore after table topics evaluations and snack time if i never see another banana and again it'll be too soon the timer grammarian and general evaluator gave their reports the vp of education was curious george he's a cute little fella after assigning roles for the next meeting he asked if i was ready to begin my youth field i said what he said i'm saving the world he said i'd be receiving messages straight from the monkeys through a secret channel that one boy everybody's waiting for me that blew that bye now set the fuzz so I will see you later I'm not going to record this whole thing anyway bye now